Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Megan. So how have you guys been? It's been well over a week since I've done a video. And honestly, if we're going to be honest with each other, I just honest, I didn't feel like doing makeup. Um, I could have done a video on something else, but I got a little caught up with spending time with my family and letting my face breathe because I was starting to get really, really bad breakout on my cheek and my chin and I hardly ever break out on my cheek and both of my cheeks were just severely broken out, broken out. I don't know what I was trying to say, but I felt like my face needed some time to breathe. I didn't feel like playing in makeup. I kind of got in a little slump on the makeup, so, but that's changed. I'm ready to play in some makeup. I got some new stuff to try, one being this Wishful Chin Lift Mask. Since it finally got on, it's been restocked on Sephora. It has peppermint, niacinamide, peptides, and something else in it. I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> but it's supposed to like lift your chin, help with the double chin situation. These are $9 on Sephora. Um, I really like the Wishful Face Scrub, so I have high hopes for this. Um, if you don't know, Huda Catton, who owns Huda Beauty, is the one who runs Wishful. And so far, it is really amazing, actually. I also got in the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. This is such a beauty. Stunning. This is my first ever Jeffree Star Palette. Actually, Jeffree Star anything. Um, if you guys like these videos, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. And let's use these products. All right, so while I do my eye makeup, I'm going to put in, put, put in. I'm going to put on this Chin Lift Mask. I'm very curious about this. Okay. Alright, now that I'm back and I have this on my face, I feel like I look really stupid. But, it's already fallen off my ears. You guys, I have this issue with face masks too. I don't know why. They don't like staying on my ears. Do I just have weird ears? Yeah, probably actually. Um, all right, so we're gonna test this out. Um, you're supposed to leave it on 20 to 30 minutes. We're gonna aim for 20 when I find my phone. What did I do with my phone? Right here, it blends in with everything. I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes and I doubt I'm gonna see results instantly. So let's just, I'm gonna go in with this ABH eye primer. And I will link everything I use in this video in the description box, as always. And if I seem very sporadic, it's because I am. <laughs> I can't get with it this past week. I'm just using this Olimar Cosmetics brush. To kind of. By the way, I made a boxy pop up order and I got it. I got it in. And I ordered some Olimar Cosmetics brushes. And I done lost them. Like, I lost the whole pack of them. <laughs> I don't know what I done with them. This is kind of uncomfortable, but yeah. We're gonna see if it works. Alright, my eyes are primed. So, we're gonna use the Jeffree Star palette today. And you probably already guessed that, so. It looks like this. Yes, you guys, I've already used it because I've had it, but I've not really used it. And I'm not going to do a super crazy look today just because I don't want to. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want to. Um, I'm going to start off with the color Last Respects. It's right here and I'm gonna dust that all over my crease and now I'm not gonna set my eyes because that brush had a little powder on it and it kind of set itself I hear my son coming upstairs so brace yourself like they they just blend like a dream I didn't expect anything less though, so I've heard a lot of great things about Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Yeah. 
only reason why I've never ordered off there is because I've it's expensive. A lot of times I order off of Sephora because shipping. I pay for the two day shipping yearly on there. So a lot of my stuff either I get out of Ulta, out of Walmart, or I order it off Sephora for that reason. And why I've always wanted to try Jeffree Star Cosmetics. The shipping was very outrageous. Like the shipping for this was $10. So, but I really like the color screen scheme color scheme in this and I just I wanted it because right, so I'm gonna shut up and we're just gonna finish the eyes and yeah because if I keep talking we're gonna be here all day Alright you guys, and so far that is the eye look. Oh my god. Like this shade right here. Um, Mausoleum is like the most stunning, like, it's coppery, but it's a very cool tone copper. And it's just, it's stunning. I'm gonna actually dip into Inheritance a little bit more. I'm gonna actually dip into Rest in Peace right here. Stunning, stunning palette. Like, I don't know why I waited so long not to buy one. What? what? I still have 10 minutes left on this mask, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna finish off the mask and I'll take it off in the next 10 minutes. Do my foundation real quick and I will be right back to finish my face. Alright, you guys, so. I don't know how the chin mask works. I mean, I don't know. Um, it's probably something you gotta use more than once, like multiples of them throughout like a couple weeks to notice a difference. But I mean, my chin's soft. So that's something, my chin's soft. All right, so I went in with the Forsali liquid glass and then I put on the Becca Cosmetics Ultimate Coverage Foundation because it's a super humid day. I use the Kaja Don't Settle Concealer. Love that stuff. It's amazing. And the Joe Beauty Selfie Ready Setting Powder. Now I'm going to go into, this is the Tarte Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle. I really love the bronzer in this set. And I love the highlighter too, which I'll probably end up using also. Um, it's kind of cool tone. That mirror is so dirty. Wow. I've had that for like ever. And I'm just going to bronze up my face just a little bit. Maybe. I can't really see. Both of my mirrors are really dirty. What is going on? I need to clean them. Alright, 
so that is all for bronzer. I'm going to use a little bit of this highlight right here. Don't ask me the colors. I really don't know. I bought this forever ago. I've had this for probably three years. And I don't even know if Tarte still sells it, if we're being honest. So if they don't sell this exact thing, I'm sorry. And I'm actually just putting this on before my blush because I kind of want my highlight to not look like it's sitting on top of my skin as much. A little highlight there, a little here and here. Alright. I got the highlight really, really good. I'm going to use the, this is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush. Super pretty. Um, and I'm going to use the shade Spacey and Stargaze, which is this shade right here and that shade right here. Got a little heavy hand up. I'm gonna finish under my eye. I'm gonna finish my eyes completely actually after I set my face a little bit. This is the Makeup Revolution, uh, the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Fixing Spray. It has hyaluronic acid and um, it really sets the skin nicely. It sets it pretty matte, um, makes your makeup last all day, but it doesn't feel drying like most matte setting sprays. I like it. If you have dry skin and don't want a super dewy look, that stuff is amazing. And it was only $10, and that's actually pretty pretty good size. <laughs> I'm going to dip into this shade Last Respects. It's the one I buffed all over. I think that's the one I buffed all over my crease. I don't remember now. But I'm going to buff that on my lower lash line. And I'm going to use the same brush I used to contour my nose. I'm just going to take this really fluffy brush. It only had, and I'm going to dip into Casket Ready, which is kind of like a creamy shade. I'm just using it to kind of buff out that shade on the bottom. The Morgue, which is this shade right here. I'm going to focus it on the outer corner of my eye. Just like that. And I'm going to buff it. And I'm I don't really want to do much eyeliner. I'm going to tight line with this and put some in my waterline. This is the Smashbox Always on Gel Liner. I feel like this is not wanting to go on my waterline today. Great, now I'm going to fix it. What I'm going to do for mascara is I got a sample off Sephora of the Huda Beauty. This is the new mascara that she came out with. And literally, it came like this. It's just a sample. It's not a full-size product, obviously. And I used it yesterday, and I liked it a lot. So much that I just ordered one. So. I honestly, I don't know why I didn't try Huda Beauty products sooner. 
but I actually really, really like them. I'm just curling my lashes. This is from Pure Cosmetics. One of these. That's we're gonna start off with this one. I haven't yet. Shoot. E ignore that. Ignore that. It's okay. Alright, so I'm gonna actually go back into the palette because I wanna pop in just a little color. That's not it. I'll use this. I'm gonna use this diamond ashes shade here and I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on my brow bone. It's stunning. I'm going to pop some of that in my inner corner too. Just enough to highlight it. Ooh, really highlight it. And you know what? I think I'm going to dip into this Paul Bearer shade right here. And just kind of stamp it right in the middle of my eyelid. Just like that, brightens it up just a little a bit more. And then I'll take this. And that is the eye look. I told my husband I was going to break out my comfort zone and wear a more bold lipstick. But I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be bold. I don't want to be. <sighs> We're going bold today just for him. This is the ColourPop lipstick um, for the Disney collection. This is in the shade Snow White. I don't know if I'm going to like this. Actually, let me line my lips really quick. I have some lip liner right here. This is from LA Girl. And it's in the shade Reddish. I got mascara all over me. What the hell happened? Anyways, um, I don't know about that chin mask. If we're being honest, I don't know about it. I would literally have to order more of these just to try them out. Be so I cannot tell you if it's worth it or not. Sorry. I mean, was it fun to use? Yeah, it was super fun to use, but like, I don't know if it does anything. Like right here is really hydrated. I mean, I'm always going to have a double chin because I'm overweight right now. I don't know about that product. Um, it was fun to use, though. So if you're just looking for something new to use, something different, I would say try it out. Um, the Jeffree Star palette is stunning. Like, I have never seen a cool tone coppery shade like the one that I have on my eyelid right now. Um, what do I keep saying? Um, yeah, I'll try not to skip any more videos like I did last week. I apologize for that. It's just, I go through, sometimes I just don't want to wear makeup. You know, my son's going crazy down there. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to go check out what he's down there yelling about. Um, and not only that, I'm getting kind of hungry. I've not had lunch. 